I have one thing that gnaws at me. That I didn't scamper off to the mountain in Ireland and hole up there while it was still safe to fly. I remember thinking while at the American Academy, we'd stay in Europe, go back to Ireland, that indeed I'd been abroad long enough. But I felt compelled to go back and finish the DIY museum project in Jersey City and to continue my teaching job at Penn State University. But I continue to flirt with the idea of staying, imagining a life in Ireland with a big studio, a few hens and a work in vegetable and dye garden. I've watched Ireland become more and more progressive over the years, follow its politics closely. I love the culture, the language, humanity and inherent democratic spirit that's just alive everywhere. Artists and poets' friends live locally and the geography of the mountain holds pragmatism and magic in equal measure for me. It's tucked away on Schlieven Aaron, translation Mountain of Iron, which the name itself makes it feel very safe. And if this lockdown has done anything, it's cleared my vision. I will shift my centre of gravity soon. Spent half my time in the US and the other half in Ireland. I remember when I was rebuilding that house in the 90s, all men from the village had come up to visit, intrigued by the lunacy of our young family relocating there. We would get all sorts of advice. How to unclog the water system from the endless supply of frogs. How to outwit the multinational faceless forestry corporations. How to get government grants and schemes, but mostly how to survive. Tom Charlie, a local bachelor, came up one evening when we were packing to come back to our American university jobs. He looked around at our stack of bags, shook his head and said, You've got to get ahead. You've got to get a cow. <laughs>